Yo. Yo, here we go. We are going. Things are flowing. It's happening. Believe it or not, it's happening. It's happening. Believe it or not. So yeah, hey, welcome to yet another stream. You know what? It's really, really hot out there. It's incredibly hot. Incredibly hot. I can't even bear it. I think it was like a hundred degrees, and the air is the air is bad too. It has like a, a smoky smell to it. Like <laughs> it's hell is upon us. <laughs> Um, nah, I don't want to say that. Come on. That's crazy talk. That's crazy talk, guy. You're talking crazy. No, what's happening is, uh, <clears throat> we're going to have extreme weather, like, more often. Where, where we'd only have, like, heat waves like this once every, like, 20, 30 years. Now we have them every year. And then, like, remember that ice storm we had a couple years ago in Salem? That, like, downed all the power lines? <laughs> um, that, that could happen again. I mean, it was a freak occurrence when it happened, but... Climate change makes it more likely to happen again. I mean, why wouldn't it? it <laughs> of course it does. All that energy has got to do something. And that's what climate change does, is, is it adds energy to the system. And that energy has got to go somewhere. Climate change doesn't add energy to it. What it I mean, what, what happens is humans have been burning a ridiculous amount of hydrocarbons just all over the place everything they do burns hydrocarbons like that's how they get their energy regular life gets its energy through like biology <laughs> but humans humans got this fire stuff they, they got a hold of fire and with it they're burning everything they burn everything and then they finally found stuff that 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 uh they can burn and it, and it like gives them lots of energy so they've been burning that stuff called hydrocarbons but the problem is is that yeah it releases um gas a gas and the gas is carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide then fills the air and it traps the heat that would normally bounce out and like fly away it the the it's like it's like making a greenhouse basically it's like putting a, a big greenhouse over your garden so instead of the heat flying away it stays inside and stays warm like the heat doesn't go anywhere so heat is is that's basically another uh, heat is another way of saying energy <laughs> and uh be, because that's what heat is it's energy it's energy uh, so when that heat that extra heat is in our weather pattern it like sloshes it around more it, it like <laughs> it just sloshes shit around more and so that's what's going to happen it's Just our, our weather is going to get all messed up I remember as a kid w like every day seeing the weather report about the jet stream like every day it was always about the jet stream. Watch where the jet stream was, because that's how the that's where the like the storm fronts were coming. That's where the storms were coming in on, and that's where like the the um, the um, oh, what do they call it? You could watch the um, uh, what's it called? You could watch like the the uh, the cold fronts and the warm fronts and the high pressure systems. It was like pretty easy and clear to see. Like, I haven't watched the weather in a while, but they no longer talk about the jet stream because it doesn't exist really. 
And then I, I I looked it up, right? I looked it up just just for randomly, just for myself. I'm like, what's the jet stream doing today? <laughs> and and like, it's not really even there. It's like in two spots, two little tiny areas, and that's it. <laughs> it's not even a jet stream at all. It's just like jet patch, <laughs> a jet a jet patch, and that's it. A windy patch. I'm like, man. So, I don't know. Why is this relevant? Because, look, like, July turned out to be, July 2023 turned out to be the hottest month on average in in, in recorded history. And uh, it, it beat the record set in 2021. <laughs> So it's just going to get hotter and hotter. Or, like, the extreme. It'll be, like, like not hot at all. It'll be cold. I don't know. But it, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I can't predict. All I know is that a solution to this problem, because, like, the, 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 the thing making the, the, the weather go crazy is the fact that we burn hydrocarbons for energy. And the thing is that we're not going to not have energy. We're not like we are. We are what we are because of energy, because of what, because we eat energy like like understand. I mean, I'm, I'm it's pretty literal, like understand our ancestors, our 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 ancestors are. Um, are uh, Homo erectus and Homo eraster. And they are the ones who, who, who mastered fire. Fire, the mastery of fire changed, cha literally changed them. It literally transformed them. Because before then, before the mastery of fire, all animals, all creatures got their energy either from the sun and it turned and like, and it catches it in, in the, um, in the leaves and transforms it into like into glucose and then like the cells eat it right so you take energy from the sun and you transform it or you're a creature that eats stuff that gets energy from the sun or you're a creature that eats these creatures <laughs> and eats their energy <laughs> and their energy came from these from these guys or you kill like you know so on and so forth you get but everything gets its energy from from the sun it's it's either from the sun or there's two places you can get energy <clears throat> you can get it from the sun or doo -doo -doo. So, okay, it's hard to do it in the daytime <laughs> i can't see in the daytime there are places on Earth where you can get it. So sometimes you can get it from the Earth. Sometimes you can, you can get energy from the Earth. But generally, you're going to get your energy from the sun. So, like, it works, it works on all levels. It works on all levels. Like... If you're in the if you're in the water, you're like, well, how do I get my energy from the sun? Well, if if you're near the top, you can do the plant thing again, right? You, you just do the plant thing, you know. <laughs> if you're near the top, and then microscopic that you can't even see, are the plankton and algae, the microscopic plankton, the little tiny tiny plankton. They're they're like little microscopic like like one celled organisms <laughs> and they convert the uh the sun into in with their little bodies into energy that they eat and then there's other plankton that go and eat them <laughs> and then there's like and then everything else eats in the ocean goes off of that everything goes off of the, off the plankton and the and that guy more or less, right? Again, there's there's some places deep in the ocean where you can get energy from um, 
You get energy from the uh, the earth. The earth will give it to you. You can do that. Or you, you feed off of whatever falls down uh, uh, from the top up here. That it gets its energy from the sun. Everything gets its energy from the sun. I'm telling you, everything on earth, all life, gets in some way or another, eventually gets its energy from the sun. Like, you might eat an animal, but that animal ate another animal, and that animal ate plants. And that plant got its energy from the sun. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. But humans, our, our ancient ancestors, humans, Homo erectus and Homo eraster, eraster what they found out is... Um, oh, hey, let me go home real quick. What they found out is you can you can do something to get energy and you can control how you get energy. And it's not from the sun and it's not from eating animals or plants. You can get energy a different way because that's like the only way you get energy. You have to make it in your in your, you know, in your body. Um you literally have to make energy in your body. But our ancestors figure out a way how to get energy energy another way. And the way they did it is with fire. Fire! Fire, fire! Fire burns! Do you see how it spreads? How it goes? Fire consumes! Fire, fire! And then, what does the fire do? Fire gives off energy and light. You know, basically it's energy. It's heat and... It gives off heat and, um, and light. So, the benefits of, of fire are, like, are crazy good. Because no other creature out there has, has fire. So, even... You can... So, only, only humans are, are, have, have control of fire. Only humans have control of fire. He 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 he. So 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 remember, everything 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 all life before this point was was like pretty hardcore. Um, it's hard to live out in nature. It's hard to live out here. You you don't have any medicine. You don't have any doctors. You don't have antibiotics. Like <laughs> you have parasites all inside you. Right? Because, like, you don't know how to get, get them out. Parasites inside you. Um, and, like, you... And you're cold. <laughs> you're, you're freezing. Because there's no way to get... The only energy... The only warmth you get is from yourself. So once humans figured out fire, they were able to save energy by staying warm. Number one. And then they can make the darkness go away with the light of a fire. Number two. Number three. All of a sudden... Like, because every everything in nature eats raw, eats things raw, or they don't cook anything in nature. Nobody, no no animal cooks its food before it eats it. There's no animal that does that. Cows eat raw grass. Like wolves eat raw meat. Like earthworms eat raw dirt. Like dogs eat raw whatever. Does that mean that animals are just stronger and hardier? No, dude. It, it means they have fucking parasites inside them. <laughs> they eat shit, and so they got a bunch of shit inside of them that sucks. And it and having having parasites inside you is terrible. It saps away your energy and your vitality from within. Like you 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 lose a, a big portion of your life energy to the um to the parasites so no parasites are terrible you don't want to you don't want parasites inside you but that's the way literally all life exists that's how it does that's how it does it 
It goes out and eats raw shit and like raw everything. So, and that was humans. That was humans too. Our ancestors, Homo erectus and Homo eraster. They they were going out eating eating raw berries, eating like I don't think they ate meat at that point <clears throat> because they couldn't, right? Because if you ate meat, like you would get sick. <laughs> Like, I don't know what kind of meat they could eat. But they ate berries for sure and nuts. And But the thing is, is about eating raw berries and nuts is that, like, a lot of times, raw berries and nuts have toxins in them. And that, that like, yeah, you can eat them, <laughs> but there's going to be toxins in them, and so you're not going to get the full nutrients out. Plus, you've got, you've got, like, you've got parasites inside you. If you have parasites inside you, then, like, you're not going to even, like, half the food you eat is going to the parasites anyways. So, like, you're going to feel terrible <laughs> because you're not, you're not going to have any energy. And, and you're going to be freezing because you're not going to have any fire to keep you warm. You're just going to be out here. Well, if you learn how to do fire, all of a sudden, you can start cooking your food. And that changes everything. Cooking food changes everything. Because no longer are you eating parasites in your food. When you cook your food, you kill the parasites. Also, when you cook your food, you're, you're, you're breaking it down. You're, make, you're, you're changing it in a way so that your, your body inside of you can get more of the stuff out of it. You get, it's like pre-digestion, what you're doing. When you eat it raw, you have to do all the work. So, so, the, so our ancient ancestors, their, their intestinal tract was really, really, really long. Because they had to work really hard to get any kind of anything out of, out of that stuff. Out of the food you ate. Because it was raw. <laughs> and the parasites got a lot of it. And it just was full of shit. <laughs> but when you started cooking, you took all the work of digestion... You took all that fucking work, and not even digestion. Also, you know what? You got to break down those those nuts, right? You can't just eat the nuts. You got to break them down. So you got to have real strong jaws, real big teeth. <laughs> like, you got to have hard stuff in order to, like, eat raw shit. But the fire does all the work for you. With the energy of the fire, you can pre-digest your food before you eat it. So you kill the parasites, you break down the toxins, and you, and you transform the consistency in a way that you can more easily consume it. And when you consume it, you get more energy out of it because all the bad stuff is already gone. Like fire, cooking, cooking changed everything. You have to understand the, the magic of cooking. Cooking food changes everything. Okay, what does that do? Big deal. So you eat good. Now you're eating like cooked food instead of raw food. What, what's the big deal about that? <clears throat> the big deal is that if you're eating, if you're eating cooked food instead of raw food, you're getting more energy out of your out of your food, which means like you feel a lot better, and your head is clearer, <laughs> which means you you can think more. You start to think more. <laughs> like, if, if... So, the added energy and nutrients that you're getting is helping, helping the ancestors' brains develop more. And they're not needing to chew their food as much. So their jaw shrinks. The shrinking of the jaw and the... And, the, and, and the, that means... That, and the... the not only does a shrinking jaw make it so that, that the, they can vocalize better and have better control over, over the sounds, but also it makes room in, in the cranium to develop a bigger brain. Because now, the human, now humans are eating better. They're getting all these extra nutrients and all this... All this um, the, it, basically, it's an extra energy. They're getting extra energy. Because they're not having to do it in-house, they've externalized it to the fire. The fire is doing the work. 
of so they've externalized the work of the fire and with that extra energy inside of them and and you know the benefit of of like not having all these parasites inside you and eating good food and eat, and getting more nutrients out is that yeah you have more like bioenergy available to grow a bigger brain and and that's what happened like our like in tandem with with the 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 vo- ability to vocalize we our ancestor our ancestors grew a bigger brain which allowed them to develop speech and culture speech but primarily speech communication speech they could speak they could speak and and it's because of fire it's because of fire fire is what what uh, what gave the the proto humans <laughs> What gave the humans, it, it, it allowed humans to outsource their digestion into the fire. And then that, and that extra bioenergy inside of them allowed them to develop speech and, and a, a larger brain for higher, higher thinking processes. So fire did it. It was fire, man. Fire. So we right now, <laughs> like I don't know if humans could exist without fire right now, the way we are, our, our form. We've been we've been using fire for so long that it's it i think it's altered our like altered our form like we could we couldn't go back to eating raw raw food anymore we'd be malnutri- malnourished we need fire to survive now and that's why I like to pair that idea with the biblical story of Adam and Eve. Because the forbidden fruit of Adam and Eve was um the fruit of the no- of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil Be- they they ate the fruit and th- they became aware of th- of the difference between good and evil they lost their innocence and they and then they they were forced out of the garden of eden by an angel with a fiery sword. Well, (laughs) forced out is one way of saying it. (laughs) Kicked yourself out is another way of saying it. (laughs) So, if you look at fire... Okay, remember what what it was. It wasn't an apple. It was, they they you know it's visualized as an apple, but it, it wasn't an apple. <laughs> it was a fruit from the tree of the knowledge, the tree of knowledge of the of good and evil, like of duality. How how could how could uh, how could so so basically Adam and Adam and Eve ate this ate this fruit and became aware of the of of their of everything they they became aware that that they were naked and then God came along and said well who told you you were naked and like <laughs> and then like. And 
and then uh yeah they're like yeah dude we <laughs> obviously because <laughs> yeah they they figured it out they figured you know no one told them they were naked they figured it out they figured it out because they ate from the tree of the knowledge of of good and evil <laughs> so yeah so so they could know so if you okay so yeah they 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 had to leave the garden garden of eden after that they had to leave they had to leave that's the biblical story. Um, now, if you if you think about it, <laughs> our ancestors, in in the anthropological sense, Homo erectus and and Homo erastus, erastus or eraster, um, they did something. They did something that no other animal does in the natural world. They got energy, energy from fire. And because they got energy from fire, they were able to like, able to transform form themselves and grow a bigger brain, <laughs> which is able to reason. A brain large enough to develop reason and culture and speech. But at the same time, by the use of fire, we are kind of bound to it. We ha we can never like we can't go back to the old way of living with the animals anymore, <laughs> eating raw food and and whatever. We can't. We physically can't. We physically cannot. We're we're stuck with fire. But, and I look, no other animal does does that except for humans. So. So in a way, the humans kicked themselves out of the Garden uh, Garden of Eden. If you look at the Garden of Eden as nature, just nature, re regular nature, um, yeah. If you're if you if you don't if you're like innocent, if you're if you're still innocent, like like the animals, like. Yeah, you live, you die, you, you, you don't, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, it's it's there for you, and you just you just live life. But if you're a human being, like, you have all this angst <laughs> because you're self-aware. You're no longer, um... You have the capacity, capacity to reason. And because you're able to reason, you're aware of your own mortality in a way that that anim and animals aren't or maybe they are i don't know but they have no way of communicating it <laughs> you see they can't manipulate the environment the, the way that humans do fire because with because of another thing that fire gave humans the ability to reason it also allowed us to use our 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 hands which is another weird thing in nature <laughs> like sure other uh, uh, like no other i don't know yeah i don't think any other creature uses their hands the way we do and we and then we're able to manipulate the environment now so in the past in nature the way it works is the animals live in nature and and nature selects the animals by by you know by being the environment, the environment selects selects the animals, um, because and <laughs> so and the animals have no choice about it, right? They'll just go with whatever the environment chooses, because they have no choice. That's natural selection. However, humans have have fucked all that up, because <laughs> they come along and they like arbitrate because they're so power. Humans are so powerful, they're able to alter the environment. The environment doesn't alter them; they alter the environment. <laughs> Humans, because and why? Because of fire. No, <laughs> it's all essentially fire. I mean, like, where do you get the energy to alter the environment? Through hydrocarbons, burning hydrocarbons, burning fire, fire applied to hydrocarbons.
So, uh, I forgot why I started this trip. <laughs> Just a little bit of recognition in a pinch serves up hints and hints of, of diligence, dripping like genetic memory discs. Coding recorded memory onto protein crisps and then sorting them into matter. Do you get it? It doesn't matter. I can tell it like this. <laughs> okay, so, um... Let's see. So yeah, our ancestors. Like, I think it's good to, to get some perspective and look back on our ancestors. Uh, Homo erectus and Homo eraster. Uh, they're the ones who discovered fire. And they're the ones who altered themselves and us, children. Because we're their children. We are the children of Homo erectus and Homo eraster. That's our common ancestor. Every human every human can be traced back to, to uh, Homo erectus or Homo eraster. Every human. It's our common ancestor. And, they, and they're the ones who discovered fire. And fire changed, changed them and then changed us. <laughs> That's why God told Adam and Eve not to eat it. That the, the, fruit, the, the fruit of the tree of knowledge is not the apple. It's fire. Fire is what, what allowed humans to cook their food and, and grow a bigger brain and discover reason. And through reason, that's how they discovered they were naked. <laughs> now, you can go even like another, like in another direction. You want like with, with fire. Um, you can go to the, well, I don't know the ancient Greeks. By the time Socrates was around, I think, I think he was before Jesus, wasn't he? Or Plato? I don't remember. Maybe it was afterwards. Anyways, Plato's allegory of the cave with the big fire. The big fire symbolizes reason <laughs> because without that you can't see anything <laughs> oh hey let's get rid of those uh, f frames per second So yeah, um, <laughs> pretty nice. I can make it even nicer. So yeah, okay. So the Bible, in the Bible, the story of Adam and Eve is a story of how humans discovered fire. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Why did I tell you that big ass story? Pourquoi? Pourquoi? 
Ancestors, that's right. I was going off on the Ancestors. A long time ago. <laughs> So check this out. There's that plane, the, the plains town, and right over here is another town. And right across that town is a is a fortress. in a weird spot. <laughs> All right. So Donald Trump we're waiting to see if Donald Trump will be indicted today. I don't think he will. They have 10 witnesses they want to they were going to interview in the grand jury today. And they're last I heard they're on witness number 5. <laughs> and and it's like 6 o'clock over there. 7 o'clock. Like, I think they're just trying to get as many, as, get it done as quick as possible. <laughs> but they might have to go till tomorrow. Oh, the buildup is, is in, intense. I, yeah, I can't wait for Donald Trump to be indicted again. It'd be so nice. It will be great to see Donald Trump indicted again. <clears throat> and this time at the state level, so it's good. It'll be televised. That's what I want to see. I want to see Donald Trump in court on TV, not as the star of reality TV. <laughs> But as the main character, not even the main character. What is it? Who is he? He's like the main villain, where, but he's not in control. So it's like court drama. It'll be great, dude. It's the, it's the drama we've been missing from the federal courts because it, it's not televised. A state trial would be great. And these lights, these lights don't work uh, with the shader pack. Oh shit! Okay. Um. What's what's the shader pack where it works? Nope. Oh, how about this one? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I mean, kinda. <laughs> the candles are themselves are glowing. <laughs> Okay, what else do I got? Kappa, there we go, that's the one. 
I don't know if that's the one, but it's it's it does the same thing. <laughs> All right. Well, here's I want to go back to. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> Let's go, uh, let's go back here. Ooh, shadows. Yeah, I'm like refreshing Twitter, <laughs> like to see like if, if, if he's been indicted yet. Dude, I mean, like, they might be doing it at night. I don't know. I mean, they might be going all night. That would be crazy. That's unprecedented. Why Why would they hold a grand jury all night? There's got to be some, some crazy stuff they're seeing. If, if they're going to hold a grand jury all night. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Dude. It's it's an, I'm I'm like reading 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 it real quick. Former Georgia Lieutenant Governor jo Jeff Duncan says he thinks it's time for the Republicans to pivot away from Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, it's too late now. <laughs> it's too late, dude. It's way too late. <laughs> Republicans tied themselves to Donald Trump. They, they, they let him go twice on impeachment. They, they, yeah, no, Republicans are in on it, guy. Don't, don't you understand that? <laughs> They're the ones turning you in. Your, your fellow Republicans are the ones turning you in. All the witnesses in, in Jack, Jack Smith's trials are Republicans. No Democrats needed. If you if you haven't pivoted by now, if you haven't pivoted by now, it's a little bit late. <laughs> uh, anyways, man, I don't even want to do this. I got. What am I gonna do? I don't want to build anything. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's hot. It's like ridiculously hot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was I was talking about global warming. That's why I talked about fire. That's the whole reason why I was talking about fire. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, humans. Humans are the children of, of, of like, the fire eaters. Like, that's what we're about. But remember, that God is kicked out of the Garden of Eden. <laughs> Look at it. We're, like, burning down everything. Because we're, because we're a fire. We need to, we need to get energy, but not from fire. I mean, do you understand? Do you understand what the what the the problem is? Like humans, humans by definition are made of are made by eating fire. We ate fire. 
but it's going to kill us because we burn we're burning the world down so how do we get energy not from fire how do you get energy not from fire well you can do you do wind you do solar that, that that's like big ones um but i'm all about nuclear no <laughs> And not the light water reactor nuclear. I mean like the breeder reactor nuclear. Because that's the own, you know, outside superconductivity. That's like our, that's like our, our best bet for like a, a base power source. If we discover fusion along the way, fantastic. But how many how many animals have to die until we do that? How much of our natural habitat do we have to lose until we we figure it out? Like, what? Like just just switch off of of burning stuff. And like, the sooner we stop burning stuff, the better off we'll be. But we're children of fire, so... Uh. <laughs> ah. Hey, farmer dude. Hey, look at that creeper guy. What's up, my creeper friend? He's like, I have come to wreck everything. I know you have. This janky ass. There we go. Finally to the top. Finally made it. There's nothing in here. Was there a smoker in here? Oh, it's out here. The smoker is outside. I get it. It's a smokehouse. Get it? It was inaccessible up until this point. Oh, that was it. I was here before. Look at this. Light something here. Why didn't I make a better path? Farmer, farmer, dude. Farmer, farmer, dude. Oh, maybe too far away from the water source. How'd you get up there, dude? You're not supposed to be able to get up there. How'd you get up there? How'd you do that? Oh. That's how you did it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> you wrecked all your, your cropland. And for what? <laughs> oh, I'm wrecking your cropland. Huh. Okay. Tommy Tuberville. Today the Navy is doesn't have a, a, a chief of staff ahead, so that means Tommy Tommy Tuberville, Florida man, Florida resident, who is using uh, the state of Alabama, who's the senator of Alabama. He's a guy who lives in Florida, but he's the senator for Alabama. He's blocking all the the promotions from the Pentagon. He's the mastermind behind the, the, the takedown of the, of the Pentagon. China couldn't do it. No, it took a spunky high school coach from, Alab from, from Florida to take down the Pentagon. <laughs> the heads. What a, what a jerk. But that's, I don't understand. If, if 
if he's not if he doesn't live in Alabama, why is he the senator for from for Alabama? I mean, Tommy Tuber Tommy Tuberville lives in Florida. Why is he the senator for Alabama? Don't you have to live in the state that you represent? That's like me voting for like someone in Nevada. Like why would I do that? I live in Oregon. But yet Tommy Tuberville Florida man is is the um is the senator for Alabama and he's able to block the promotions of the Pentagon and what that does is it messes up a bunch of military stuff in Alabama which I guess it doesn't bother Tommy Tupperville cuz he lives in Florida it's not Florida getting messed up it's only Alabama uh, uh, uh. So Tommy Tuberville doesn't care. He doesn't even live there. Uh, he doesn't even live there. That's so funny. But yeah, the state level prosecution of Donald Trump is going to be so much more fulfilling, so much more fun to watch. He might be in jail because um, in Georgia, you have to prove that that you that you're okay to be on bail. We're at the federal level; it's up to the prosecution to prove that you're not okay for bail. So Donald Trump has to prove that he's okay for bail. But he already tweeted, tweeted threats to, to the, the DA and to the jury and to witnesses. He already did it. So he already, he, so he, he already has shown that he cannot be free. Like, so the state of Georgia might have to lock up Donald Trump you know, pending trial. That would be fan fucking tastic. That would be great. Because he's still trying to overthrow the government. Donald Trump hasn't stopped yet. Man, oh man, I'm so tired. Maybe I should stop. Maybe it was a bad idea to stream. No, I got some good words out. <laughs> the words were good. Some, it, ha it hasn't happened yet, but it might happen tonight. Like, at some late hour. So, this is like the, the watch, the indictment watch. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> The indictment watch. The indictment watch. The indictment watch. The indictment watch. Watching and waiting and waiting and watching to see Donald Trump get his get what's coming to him. <laughs> Donald Trump, Donald Trump. All right, well, I didn't really do anything. <laughs> I just flew around, which is like fun, right? I love flying around. It's so much more fun with this mod.
Oh no. All right. Well, it's yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sometimes I have too much fun. Hey, tree, guess what's happen happening to you? Is my axe down here? No. No axe for you. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Hey, zombie man. It's amazing you're even alive. I'll have to come down and say hi. Hello, Mr. Zombie Man. Mr. Amazing Zombie Man. Goodbye, Mr. Zombie Man. All right, am, am I alive? Got everything together? Rocking, rocking, and rolling. <laughs> wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait. There's 31 new tweets. Let me see what happened. Oh, 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 oh. The, the Georgia Grand Jury is voting right now. Voting right now on indictments. I thought it was 12, but I think it might be 24. Like, jurors on a grand jury. You might need, like, a big one. It might, Yeah, you might need, like, a giant grand jury. Instead of just, like, the 12. But the purpose of the grand jury is to to have the, the the prosecutor present the evidence to a panel of of regular citizens and see if they want it, and and the citizens get to vote if they want to press charges if they think a crime happened. So is it going to happen? Will it be? Well, we'll, we'll know by the end of the night. I don't know. I, mean, I don't want to sit here for like an hour, like saying, is it time? Is it time? Like, it'll happen. So I'm going to go. Um, yeah, happy, happy indictment watch. <laughs> have, a, have a nice day. Bye-bye. Stop.